Oh yeah, it's gonna be one of those kinds of days. Hello everybody on YouTube, it's your boy, the Memphis XL. Right, welcome you back to the 100 days of Yu-Gi-Oh! Or every day for 100 days, we're dueling with a different deck every single day. Today, day number 85, there's only 15 days left of the 100 days. It's getting down to the wire. And we're taking a look at a blast from the past, a deck we have not seen on this channel. I double checked, about four years it's been since we played Six Samurais, the legendary warriors of the Six Samurais, who like to swarm out onto the board and start swacking our opponents with swords. I don't have my sword on me right now, I have a fork. Me, my mighty fork. <laughs> so, that's what we got today. We're playing Six Samurais, we're going to be going at it in TDO Pro, showing off this deck, the wombos and the combos, the what do's and the what not do's. And we'll have ourselves a good old time. A big shout out to Mr. Deverick Phillips, who asked us to take a look at Six Samurais today. Thank you, sir. Giving us a chance to take a look at that we have not seen in a long time here. Uh, but we're going to go in there. We're going to show off what this deck can do. Uh, real quick, though, I'm going to explain what we're going to try and do. Because while I'm doing the combo, I might get distracted and not explain it fully. It's pretty simple when you get back in Six Samurais. All you need to do, get a couple monsters on the board. Start making your Link monster that searches out your gateway of the Six. And then you just want to keep, you know, generating more counters. You want to generate counter after counter after counter. That's what you want to do with this deck. Just keep spamming counters onto the board. In order to, you know, be able to recycle your monsters over and over. Mo Mizuho and Shinai might seem like the main dudes here. Yeah? And they do provide a lot of support here. But the main monster for us today is Kizan. Good old Kizan as well as the Grandmaster of the Six Samurais. But Kizan is just even a little bit better. Because he's non once per turn very little restriction special summon from the hand so that's the name of today's game is just trying to get our counter generators on the board whether it be the show or the dojo shoujo we got our six sams united the field spell most important card of course our gateway and then we just want to keep special summoning things like keys on and grandmaster sometimes we go for keys things of that nature but just special summon special summon special summon so long as we can maintain at least four counters on the board at all times we're pretty golden with this deck and we can build some pretty nasty board when all things go together. Things like building Appaloosa with that, that Shuri of Brothers or making just Shein if we need to. So that's what we're doing today. Let's go ahead and EDO Pro. Let's show off what this deck can do. And have ourselves a good old time. Wow. All righty, everybody. Our first opponent of the day of the card game. We'd like to go first to this deck at like all times. Six Samurais. They're, they're, they're not as beefy as they could be. They do need a little bit of protection from being like running through a, a minefield of negates. But we're going to go ahead and start with our Six Sams United. Very nice spell because it just allows us to generate those counters. We need to start generating counters. And oh boy, we'll be generating some counters. All right, let's go for Sheen's Smoke Signal now. We'll get our Sheen Eye, and we should be pretty set here. Should be pretty set. So let's go ahead and normal summon our Six Sams Kageki. We're going to use his effect. We get to normal summon another monster. Oh, it's special summon. And we're going to get ourselves another monster from our hand. Now, we do need to discard a card for this whole combo to work. So, let me think about this. Mm, let me think about that. If I go for Battle Shogun now, I might not be able to do everything. But we'll have to give it a shot because I, I need to discard stuff. So, we're going to go ahead and use these two make our Battle Shogun. He's our main guy. When he's summoned, I get any card... That mentions bringing out me some counters. And we do need those counters. Let's get the gateway of the six. And with any luck, I'll draw into a sheet. Or like somebody I can special summon. I just need somebody I can special summon. To this zone specific. So we're going to use six Sam's United. Ditch that. Draw myself new cards. And okay. It's not perfect. But it's something. Let's go Monster of Born and bring back a monster. Alright. I had to do a quick thing there for a second with the dogs. Anyway, we're back at it. I didn't get to start with everything the first turn, but my opponent seems to just be like a setting fiend, which is fine by me. Let's go ahead and special summon our good old friend Six Samurai's Kizan. He's our main boy. He's like the most important boy, because he can just special summon himself forever. And now that we have four counters, we should be good. We're going to remove the counters off Shogun, because he doesn't need them. He don't need no counters. This needs counters. Gateway of the Six. We're going to remove four, get ourselves a Kizan. And I will mention, anytime you can special summon the zone that Shogun points to is always a good thing in this deck. Because you just want to generate more counters. The more counters, the better. Which is why we're going to summon this guy. Shadow Shien. 
which you might think is pretty useless as effective as anything to you know, mention, but it is an ability to get more counters. And like I said, with this deck, the more counters, the better. So let's see what this guy's going to do. He's got a whole minefield of set cards. What is this? Rebirth of Parshath. Uh, negate, shuffle into the deck. I see. Well, that's fine. <laughs> I don't care. You know, that lets me reuse that. That's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. I'm just going to keep doing So this is a counter fairies of some form? I guess. I guess that's what this is. That seems to be the case. But let's go ahead and make another keys on. Heck, I can summon back Xien. That's the funny thing. All I need to worry about is, like, the timer. Because the thing about Six Sams, they take their dang sweet time doing stuff. You know, if this was, like, TCG, I would just say, Hey, I'm going to loop this infinitely. Do you mind if I just put infinity counters on my card? Thanks. But, yes, I can get Keys on back from the grave. Which is really where the meat and potatoes of this here deck goes. Is that I can get monsters back from wherever I please. That's the scary bit. Uh, but, yeah, let's go ahead and make... Uh, Xi'an again, because why not? I see no reason not to. We're going to use Xi'an's effect again. Basically, this just makes this guy's original attack 2,000, which, again, doesn't do much, but who cares? We're baiting out all my opponents' negates. I'm fine with this. Like I said, all you need to do at this point is just keep spamming damn counters all day, all night. Get keys on over and over again. We'll make ourselves a big boss, and you know, the more he negates me, it's actually good. Because the more he negates me, the less he has to negate with. So let's go for the gateway of the six again. Do that whole shtick. And uh, sadly, SP Little Knight's very little use here. Normally, this would be a good thing. Uh, let's see. Target six am in the graveyard. How many cards do I have in the graveyard again? I do have a bunch of those. Let's get Hatsume. Good old Hatsume Miku. I guess. I, I don't know anything about Hatsume Miku. All I know is she's like a... something. Anyway, we're going to summon a Hatsume. Because she allows me to banish the stuff in my grave that I don't care about at the moment in order to just bring back keys on. Because why not? We'll bait out even more negates, get out more counters. The more counters, the more powerful we become. And my opponent has surrendered! Which is good, because I don't have a dog barking. But regardless... Let's go ahead and say that that is what a lot of the day is going to be. It's going to be me looping cards, and if my opponent can't do anything about it, they are going to rage quit a lot. It's unfortunate, it's true, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. We need to even get to our endgame board. Most players, when they see six Sams go off, they're not going to let you finish. It's sad, but it's true. But we, you get the idea. This is what we're trying to do. We're just trying to get the Shogun. If we start with a counter-generating card, it's perfect, because that's what we want to do. And if we get the gateway with the six in the first hand, we basically just win. You basically just win. Unless you completely brick, you just win. So, let's go for duel number two. Show up for more what this deck can do. Alrighty, second opponent. Let's go and do it again. We don't get to pick this time, which is never good with this deck, but... Oh! Uh, oh! Oh! Uh, I mean, it depends on what he goes to do, but it's... Whenever you start with Gateway, it's just so good in this deck. It is a beautiful thing. Especially, we also have Sheen's Dojo, which is another nice card. Generates counters, and it's also very important for our combo to go to the Naturia lineup. What the hell are we up against? What the heck is this? Umi Control, or is it Sharks? Or is it both? Could be both. Uh, Minaruka, okay, and then what on earth is that shark? Oh, Lefty summons Righty, of course. Have destroyed my battle, you say? Well, I can deal with that, I think. Maybe, possibly. Depends. Depends on where this goes. Sharks going first tend to kind of be like six Sams because they just like to set up a bunch of negates and things. In his case, I'm seeing Bahamut Shark as along with uh, Stealth Krogan. Is probably where this is going to go at the minimum, I would say. I would say these two into Stealth Krogan, these two into Bahamut Shark. Or you want Bahamut Shark indestructible, okay. Interesting choice, but you do you. I mean, you do you. That's how it goes. Yeah, this is one of the reasons, like I said, you don't want to go second in this deck too much. Just because going through a minefield of stoppage is not the... It's not the cup of tea for six samurais. You would think they'd be good at it, being the mighty warriors they are. 
not not so much in their own archetype, no. They're, they're more of a stop them and then hit them sort of deck. And my opponent's making the whole... Uh, I always forget how these cards work with the new armor exceeds things. Uh, let's see, detached materials, armor exceeds cards. Okay. What on earth do these do? This is the one that lets them attach more material. No. Exceed another monster. Stop exceed something. Stop it. My turn. Just no, it's not my turn. It's it's his turn. I know. I just I, I see Gateway of the Six in my opening hand. I'm like, I want to duel. Please. Please stop doing whatever the heck this is. Uh to take uh, to, 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 to take an exceeds card in the grave, add to the hand with the turn with a quick card, equipped to a monster you control. Okay, but then now he's gonna make the stealth dragon. Okay. Still don't know why he didn't make this indestructible in battle instead. That seems like an oversight to me, but you do you. And now you're just going to equip another Xyz. Attach a monster pump controls to the scar material. Cool. Uh-huh. And then target an Xyz card in the grave. Get the spell back. Okay. And he still has that trap of his. What does the trap do again? Exceed and exceed. Using monster control, banishes come from the grave. Target and exceeds. Equip and exceeds. Exceeds, exceeds, exceeds. Why don't you? Why don't you just exceed about 5,000 times? How about you do that? Does that sound good to you? I think it sounds great. All right, but regardless of whether we can do anything about this, I don't know. It's going to be hard. I might as well give it a shot. Just to show, like, this is what's going to happen if we don't get to go first. But we have, like, the perfect going first hand. And we're going to go ahead and activate our upstart Gablin. Because I'd like to draw another monster, especially Kageki. Because Kageki is best boy to normal summon in this deck. So we'll summon our boy Kageki. And we're going to use his effect to summon a monster from our hand. Uh, and he, he can pop me at whatever point. I don't think this does anything unless it's equipped with something. So, And he does have the trap, though. He, I don't even care about the trap. But I think I can do that. Because this is not target. I might actually have an out to that. Now I think about it. But we're going to go for our boy Kizaru. All right. If an Ixies... Um, no. I think we're okay there at the mo... I, I think. I might be wrong. Might be potentially wrong. We'll find out in a moment. We'll find out. He can blow up Kizaru. Kizaru is already doing his effect. It doesn't matter. All right, so full armored Ixies into whom? Into that guy. All right, that's fine, I think. Maybe? Possibly? And let's go ahead and get our boy keys on. We'll get our boy keys on, and I think if he tries to use this, yeah, it has he has to target and exceed he controls. I think I can out that. Funnily enough, was not intending to out that, but I think I can. Uh, but let's go ahead and do as we do. Gateway of the six, dojo is at three, and so we have nine counters. It's pretty good. Okay. So now that he's doing that, I'm gonna activate forbidden. Oh, I can't target this. Why can I not target this? I don't know why I can't target. Why can I not target this? Um. Oh, it's because of this. I'm assuming. Possibly. I don't know. That, that did something. Finish this card. Try to seize control. Equipment exceeds. Face of the field. I can't do. I stopped something. I'm not entirely certain what I just stopped, but I stopped one of them. So let's go ahead and gateway to the six. We always need to have Dojo have one counter to do the full combo. So other than that, you can just do whatever you want. I can go and make Grandmaster. Getting rid of this is going to be an issue, though, because I didn't really pack my extra deck with beat-over things, beat-em-up sticks. I mean, I can do it, though, I think. Although, the fact that I can't target this... Uh... I don't know what's making it. I can't target him. It's one of these. Not sure. One, four. Get me more things, please. I require them. All right, let's just get another keys on because we always go for keys on. Whenever you have an option to, go for keys on. Because he is just infinitely summonable, infinitely recurrable, and is a beautiful thing. So let's see here. Uh, do I have any... No, no, I just need to see my extra deck. Is there anything I have? Well, I have Avermax. That can beat over everything he has. 
I don't like to just spam Avram, but... Better than nothing at this point in the duel. It can't be targeted or destroyed and stuff, so why the heck not? Okay, so here's what we're going to do tentatively. I'm going to... I'd like to summon more monsters, though. Yeah. I want more counters before I do anything. We're probably going to go for Avramax here just because we're going second and all that other stuff I was talking about. But, you know, until then, I'm just going to do the thing. Because he's already used up his Krogan. Completely wasted, by the way. And all the other good stuff. So, one, two, buckle my shoe, get me another keys on, please. I'll just be noted when you're doing all this stuff. Always make sure you summon your sh uh, your keys on or your grandmaster or whoever before you link any all your monsters off or whatever you're gonna do, because if you don't, bad things can happen. So let's go ahead, battle my shogun, and yeah, actually, yeah, let's let's go ahead and get another card that mentions Bushido counters. Why not? Let's get uh, our field spell. Temple of the Six, which is not as good of a card. It just weakens monsters for every counter on it. But it is a card that puts counters on itself, and that is more important than anything else. Alrighty. Keep doing the thing. I should also mention I can now bring back Shein monsters with my my gateway. Not very important right now, but I'm, just, I'm bringing it up because I can. Just to let you know, you can do that. Alright, so Battle Shogun just gonna get me more counters, please. This is how six samurais battle. Kind of annoying, but at the same time, you know, here's the thing. If this card ever went to two, six samurais would be completely un unstoppable. Unstoppable force of destruction, I tell you. Uh, but we should be pretty set. And I might be able to still make, like, everything? Question mark. Let me think about this, because if I make... Let's see, where is my girl? Where's Max? Good old Mascarena. Then I'm going to go ahead and summon forth my boy, Avram Max. So I don't always summon in this deck, but when I do, I summon him hard. Summon him hard. Let's go ahead. Four more counter. One, two, three, four. I'm going to leave some counters on this because he does get weakened from this. So it's like, why the heck not? Uh, let's get another Grandmaster. That way I can do my Synchro play, I think. Yes. I can do all the Synchro boys. Why not? Stop all of his spells. I mean, I can't stop his monsters, which is the more pressing issue. And that's what Appaloosa is all about. Oh, I could summon Appaloosa too. Hmm. Can I summon them both? I probably can. I, again, I need to watch the timer. Uh, one, two, three, four. Can I summon Appaloosa on top of everything? I can small. I can summon a small Appaloosa. I th think, maybe potential. I don't know if I need to go all out like that though. I can have, honestly. I can just attack. I can just attack right now, and that should be just fine. Um. Ah, uh, that negates everything. I see. I see. I need to be more cautious about that. Okay. Okay. I think I can deal with that. I just banished that instead. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and make Dugares of a Timeless One. You might be like, why? The answer, SP Little Knight. Hachumba. Because when SP Little Knight uses an exceeds his material, I can just banish uh, this card. How about you? Hey, Bachu, how about you? I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the same thing I've been doing all day. I'm going to do the same thing over and over. If you can stop me, go right ahead. Until then, I'm just going to keep doing it. And we'll special summon keys on, I think. Honestly, I could just end the duel whenever I please, but I have time. Therefore, I will use what little time is left. One, two, three, four. And make an Appaloosa the Bruiser and make myself... I, I won't make every everything, but I will be making a lot of things. Like I said, this is Six Samurais, folks. I'm not trying to abuse my opponent. This is literally just how my deck works. Uh, so, two more monsters. Say, one, two, three, four. Yep. One, two, buckle my shoe. Make an Appaloosa the Bruiser. And then... 
I'm gonna go ahead and activate Sheehan's Dojo. I'm gonna ditch that card, and then I can get Sheehan's Squire. You might wonder why he's in here. It's exclusive because he's an Earth Tuner. That is the only reason he's in here. It's because he is Earth Tuner. Therefore, uh, why can I not make... I can not make my boy. Where is... Earth? Earth? All right, I'm water. I'm water. Okay, that's fine. You know what? That's just as well. I'll just make Xi'an. That works just as well. Uh, also... Uh, more. More, I tell you. More! More monster! Okay, this will be the last monster, though, because I am running very low on time. Uh, let's just get... Uh, key... Uh, let's get the Grandmasters, because he's bigger. We'll get the Grandmaster, because he's bigger, and then we'll run over everything. And that ought to be... Well, it's not going to be life point game, but... Have you seen my board? Have you seen my board, sir? I have a triple monster effect negate, a spell trap negate, and all the counters in the world. I don't think you can out that. I could be mistaken. I could be mistaken, unless he's actually packing Stealth Krog, in which... I kind of doubt, but even if he is, I have Appalooza. So I should be pretty set. You know, like I said, I have a Spell Trap Negate, I have Triple Monster Effect Negate, which could be going down to two in a minute. Yep. Alright, I I'll commend you for actually running Stealth Dragon, sir. But it will avail you nothing, because I cannot attack directly this turn because of stuff, but, you know, it's SP Little Knight. I can't attack directly, but it's fine. Don't need to. But, you know, that. there you go. That is the power of Six Samurais. That is their power. That is what they do. What is this doing now? Um. Hmm. No. I don't know what that does again. That's, that's the thing that just sets them summon out more sharks, right? Something like that. Yeah. It adds some more stuff. Maybe that was the wrong call, but I'm just going to go with it. It doesn't matter. It don't matter to me. He's got a buzzsaw shark. Can't even attack because he can only attack Avermax. That's a, Avermax is such a busted old link. He's crazy. Can't be targeted. Can't be destroyed while using Masquerade as a material. You can only attack him. He beats over anything that's special summoned. He's a, he's a busted kind of guy. So my opponent, yeah, he'll surrender. But he put up a good fight. I'll give him that. He put up a very good fight. The only thing I would... You know, um, I'd say the only thing he did wrong was that he used Krogan too early. But really, where would you hit Krogan? I would say if he hit the Battle Shogun, that would have been a bigger problem. But he didn't. So, good on us. I said this was a going first deck, but we managed to go second and kick some butt. So, let's go for duel number three. We've got time for one more today. We've shown up a lot of what this deck does already. And it's really just going to be repetitions of things. So, one more should do it. Let's go for duel number three and go out with style. All right, everybody, the third opponent, the fighting third. I should, I literally have swords right back there. I should grab them, but no, I will use this fork for battle. My opponents are not worthy of a rack of my, my display swords. Oh, oh, when you start with literally pretty much everything. Gateway of the Six Samurai. Let's see how quick this guy rage quits. It could happen. You never know. I've got Dojo. I've got United. I've got Everything. And I also have Reinforcer of the Army, which is just goaded. All right, so what do I get here, though? I guess I just got my boy Keys on, because I have Katsume Miku. I've got Keys on. I've got everything. I will not have anything to discard for Shogun, but I legit don't... No, way, I do, because I do have Six Sam's United. I could do that. That is a potential thing I could do. So let's special summon our boy. Good old Keys on. Get some more counters. And I can just use United to just draw more cards, which is... Yeah, let's do that. We'll just do that, do that. I would love to go for my whole Nat Shuri combo. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Love it! There we go. So let's go for Battle Shogun. More counters. Get the field spell. Go on, imperm me. I dare you. I have my anti-impermanence tech. Hit me, damn it! Hit me! Thank you. See, aren't you just a lovely little spit? Aren't ya? 
doing exactly what we want you to do. Let's go ahead and get the field spell. Because like I said, the, the field spell, it's just more counters. The more counters, more better. And then just start doing the thing again. And let's see, one, two, three, four. And then I'm just going to get extra counters there. And Shogun is, well, he's losing power for, all right, Forbidden Lance. <laughs> That's why he's losing attack power. Always forget that bit, because really, I don't care about Battle Shogun that much. The only reason he's here is because he searches Gateway. If he didn't do that, he'd be useless to me. He would be useless, but he is not, because he does get everything. I'll uh, say one, two, four. And there we go. And we should be set from there. I could just skip ahead until the end, but I'm going to at least show off like what I'm doing. You know, just in case. Because I should be able to do the whole combo with the Naturias here. Like I said, the only reason I didn't get to do that last duel is because one, I didn't go first, and two, I was turned into what a monsters. That was the only reason. Every every other reason was that I just I just wasn't allowed. Was not allowed. All right, four more counters, please. And three, four. I do like to leave the counters on Temple, though. I will mention this because you know, it, like if my opponent was playing, say, Cash Tiras or something, as an example, say they were playing Cash Tiras. He could just special something that was bigger than my Naturias and beat over them, which I don't want to happen. So, you know, there, there's a reason. Let's say there's, there's a good reason. One, two, three, four. And I can make Appaloosa here. I could make... I could just go for Saryusha Skulldred, do the whole loop there. I don't think I need to do that too much. I think I'll be fine just doing it like this. So we're going to summon out keys on like I've done a million times. We'll do it a million more. And then, let's see, one, two, three, four. Because I need four different monsters, and I need, well, actually, hmm, hmm. I might need to loop this a little bit more, now that I think about it. Just, just a little bit more. Just a wee bit. All right, and of course, I'm always worried if my opponent's going to, like, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to do something crazy schnarky. Let's see. Do Garris the Timeless to get another body with a different name on the board? Because in order to do Barkin, I do need to have Grandmaster around. So let's go ahead and detach these. And summon a monster from my grave. Because next turn, I don't need to go into main phase one. I'm going to special summon Hatsume. And then I'm going to go ahead and do Hatsume Meiko's effect. And I just realized I don't... <laughs> um... Oh... Wait a minute. I may have goofed a smidge. I might have gotten a little overzealous there. I... Because uh, I'd like to have Mitsu in the... Well, it doesn't really matter if she's in the grave. It doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm just going to go this way. I forgot I didn't have as many monsters in the grave as I'd like to have. But it's, it's fine. It's fine. I still have enough monsters. I have plenty of monster. I have monsters for days. All right. So one, two, three. Oh, forgot. I can only have one of these. <laughs> Sometimes you got to be careful with Six Samurai. They are a little more complicated than I'm making them looking out to be. They do have their complexity to them. Where is my other boy? My other boy is currently under this boy. So what I do need to do here is make my Appaloosa here. Let's go one, two, three. And four. We'll make Appaloosa the Bruiser. Let's go ahead and special summon out our Grandmaster. And let's go ahead and use this effect a couple more times. Like I said, I only need one counter on Sheehan's Dojo. So let's add back our Kizan for the billionth time. And my, my opponent surrenders right as I was about... But basically, that I was almost done with the combo. I was just going to use this to get out my tuner. Make Naturia Beast, remove six counters from Gateway, get the tuner back, make Barkian, and then I have four monster vet negates, infinite spell, well, I have uh, 13 spell negates at this point, uh, and then for every two cards in the grave, I have another trap negate, so basically a bit of a lockdown situation there, and yeah, I would have had another keys on all that good stuff, and then I would just run them over, that was the idea, so there you go, I said there was going to be a lot of rage quitting today, and lo and behold, there has been, that is the power of the six samurais, po. It's intimidation. So let's go ahead for the end screen. We'll talk a little bit more about this deck.
Alrighty, everybody. So six Samurais United went three and zero as expected. Intimidation factor of this deck is just on point. It's a brutal deck. The combination of Kizon plus Gateway is a match made in heaven. It's like PB and J. It's it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Also, my game just crashed. My game has just crashed. Uh, and my my EDO pros have been crashing a lot recently, but I like to believe this is because six Samurais are just so busted of a deck. You know, Gateway at 1 is the only way 6 Sams can be legal. Because otherwise, you know, if this card was at 2, complete annihilation. There will be no stopping 6 Sams at all, ever. You know, with with Kizon alone, he, the fact that he can just summon himself as long as you have a 6 Sam is completely absurd. And, you know, you just keep summoning him back out. You keep searching him from the deck. Search him from the graveyard. Summon him. Counters. Summon him. Counters. That's what this deck is all about. And... That's what we did, you know? That's what we were able to do. We're going to show off most of what this deck is capable of. There's like, uh, let's see, I didn't get to summon exterior, but that's more of a... Oh, wait, that was a tech that I took out. <laughs> that's actually a tech I took out of the deck, but it is something we can make. Other than that, the Shinobi's really the only guy that we didn't get to see do anything. So, you know, we, we're going to see like 95% of what this deck does. So, let's go ahead and say thank you, everybody, for watching. If you did enjoy... Smack the like button. Consider subscribing. I hear if you, if I say the word subscribe in YouTube videos, the, the, the icon glows or something. I know it glows if you press it. That's a pretty cool. You get some little fireworks going. Uh, but if it does glow, let me know. Uh, let me say it a few times. Subscribe. 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 Okay. <laughs> let, me, let me know if it actually glows or not. And then if it doesn't, I'll stop saying that. But this is a very nice day with the six Samurais. I'd love to play them again after so long. It's nutty how much better that they are. And I remember, I mean, I remember just, like, not enjoying sitting through combos, or if you stop the gateway, then they don't do anything. But, you know what? We got to see all the good stuff. Except Kizaru. He didn't do he didn't do Jack, but he's a nice searcher, dude, too. He's a nice searcher when things go a certain way. So, let's go over the deck list real quick, and then we'll go ahead and talk about what tomorrow's deck is. For today's main deck, I run two copies of the Grandmaster of the Six Samurai. Just as a, mo a big old monster, you can special summon from the hand, and he's good for making Barkian. Two copies of Kizaru. He's an amazing combination with Kageki, because you summon Kageki, get Kizaru. Kizaru will search out your Mizuho's, your Shinai's, what have you. Uh, he won't search out Kizan, though, because they're both Earth, but, you know, it, it's still something. It's still something. Uh, so, yeah, I run two of that guy. We have three copies of the all-powerful Kizan, because you would never, in un any circumstance, run less than three to this guy. One copy of uh, Secret Six Samurai's Hatsume Miku, because a pink ninja girl in spats is just amazing. Also... The fact that she can just banish six samurais you don't need to search out and special summon the ones from the grave that you do need. So it's just a nice little thing. It also protects your six sams in case weird going, I don't know, fourth turns come out with your six samurai deck and you need to protect your guys. That That's an option there. Uh, two copies each of Mizuho and Shinai. They combo with each other because you literally summon one while the other's on the board. Mizuho can tribute your monsters to target cards to destroy them. When Shinai gets tributed, then you can add back a 6 Sam from the graveyard, such as Kizan. Uh, triple Kageki, because when you normal summon him, you can summon a Samurai from your hand. He also gains 1,500 attack while you have another monster on the board, but that's pretty much irrelevant, but it is something, so there you go. Uh, one copy of Shin Squire. He is, of course, our one, uh, what do you call it, Garnet. He's our Garnet of the deck. You don't want to have, ever have this guy in your hand. Unless you're discarding him, that's that's perfectly fine. But in any other case, you do not want to have this guy in your hand. He is just a brick. Uh, but you, you got him in there, and you know he can protect your monsters from being destroyed in battle. That is something. So he's not terrible in that. But you want to summon this guy off your dojo. Uh, one copy of Fuma just as an additional tuner monster. And if he does get destroyed, you can summon a six Sam from the deck. So bad hand stopper a little bit. If you're going first, you have like nothing but this guy. At least you can have him destroyed, and then he'll summon another monster, and he can protect that monster for a turn. So, it's something. Uh, two copies of Fire Flint Lady, because sometimes your Kageki gets, you know, impermed. You're not always going to have your Forbidden Lance. So, this is a nice little thing. Special summon from your hand, and you can send this card to the grave to summon a warrior from the hand, which cannot be targeted for a turn. Eh? Eh? It's a thing. It's a thing. Uh, spells are pretty basic. Reinforcement is obvious for searching out warriors. She and Smoke Signal searches out any low-level six samurai monster, so pretty obvious. Upstart, because we really, really, really like to start with certain cans, and I really don't care how many life points my opponent has, because either they're going to rage at me, or I'm going to knock them out regardless of how many life points they have. One monster born for just continuing the spam. 
one call by for Ash Blossoms. We have Cunning of the Six, which I can ditch a six samurai to bring out a monster from my graveyard. It can be a six M of my opponents if it's a weird mirror match situation, but that's a thing. Uh, two Forbidden Lance to stop in perms. One copy of Asceticism of the Six Samurai, which is an interesting little number. You summon a six Sam from the deck with the same attack with a different name as a monster you control. So you can combo that with Kageki. If Kageki was going to get negated or something, then you can chain Asticism and then summon out Fuma. You can also have Mizuha summon Hatsume or vice versa. So it's something. It's a little something. Uh, the one gateway you can play, because if you're playing Six Sam's and you're not playing this, you're a crazy person. Three copies of Shein Dojo, because it's just more counter generation. And you can use its effect as summon a Six Sam or Shein effect monster from the main deck. And it's what's well, the level is less than equal to the number of counters. So we're summoning so many counters to this thing. Although, again, we only really need the one. Uh, triple Six Sam United, which for some reason the artwork's not working today. Uh, basically, it's just our draw card, as well as just additional Bushido counters. You can only have up to two, sadly, which is whatever, fine. Only two is whatever. It's, it's fine. Just, you know, sometimes you need additional counters to have Gateway go off, and this is just an additional two counters you can have. And you, it's not like you need to always have that draw, but it's nice to have it. And lastly, we have the Temple of the Six. You know, more counter generation, and it weakens all your opponent's monsters for every counter on it, so... You know, if you have 10 counters, that's a 1,000 attack off an opponent's monster. Makes it really hard to beat over that Nat Cherry Beast. Uh, as for our extra deck, we have a Masquerina, for obvious reasons. Makes our big links indestructible by card effect. Two Battle Shoguns, because it searches out any of our Bushido counter generators. And it also generates counters of itself whenever a 6 Sam is summoned to the zone it points to. Its attack is irrelevant, so I don't know why that even matters, but there you go. It's a counter generator. We have SP Little Knight for banishing troublesome things. We have our Appaloosa the Bruiser as our main link in for negation purposes. Two copies of Saryuja Skull Dread if you just really want to dig into your deck and just leave your... Just go vomit your whole deck onto the board. Saryuja Skull Dread is your boy. And he's also fine if you want to run like a copy of your negate to have a negate and you just don't want to have like a bricky sort of situation. So, you know, the option to draw more things. Also, good to combo with Excesco Talker if you want to run that instead of Avermax for whatever reason. Also, one Avermax for defense, as well as a big beat stick of a monster. One Dugares the Timeless, because I can skip my draw phase whenever I want. I don't need a main phase once I've done my combos. And, well, we don't... No, well, if I'm going to double someone's attack, I'm not going to need another main or battle phase, am I? No. So, all around, very nice monster. We also have Shadow of the Six, which... You wouldn't think it's good, his effect is garbage, but he is a six samurai, he is a Shein, and so he works with, like, most of what we do. One Nat Shuria Beast, and one Barkian, because we have a lot of Earth Monster in Kizan, and a lot of Tuner in Squire. We also have Grandmaster, so you can make both of these and lock your opponent out of Spell Traps, like, pretty much indefinitely, if you get these out late into your combo. So that's cool. We also have the original Legendary Shein, which is useful if your attributes get changed, uh, and it's also a thing if you want to run the original Great Shogun Sheehan. It doesn't, like, completely lock your opponent out of stuff, but, you know, it lets you it lets you choose what you, um, you know, what, what your opponent gets to do to an extent. Sheehan can negate stuff, and he can protect himself by destroying other six samurais, which is a little little dark, but he's a nice boy. Uh, lastly, we have Secret Six Samurai Rihan, which can, what was it, he can banish six samurais to banish cards on the board and protect the guys from the you know, being destroyed. By banishing himself from the grave as well. Uh, we don't summon him very often, but he is an option. And Exterio is here because originally I had Miraculous Synchro Fusion, or if you want Nat Shuri a Blessing, whatever you want. Uh, because it's it's literally just Beast and Barking in one. That, that's what he is. He's just, he's just with the same effect, but a slighter cost. As for the side deck, I, I did consider Shogun Sheen as a, a cheeky little tech option. Because it basically makes your opponent can activate only one Spell Trap per turn. You combine this with Sheen. Your opponent really has to do some mental mind thinking to think, what spell trap do I want to play? Do I play the good one first, and then they negate it? Or do I play a bad one first, they don't negate it, then I can't play the good one? That sort of thing. Uh, there's you know, other basic things. If you want to avoid Ash Blossoms and things of the like, even harder instant fusion into Restrict is just fine. There's also things like Mud Dragon as a level 4 that can protect you from being targeted and stuff like that. Uh, I also vaguely recalled Raijin because he's a warrior you can summon, but kind of irrelevant there. But he's a guy with a big lightning sword, so why not? Other Fire Flint Lady if you feel the need. Other Fuma, same deal. Six Strike Triple Impact is a nice thing if you're finding yourself going second too often because it can pop all your opponent's face-up monsters or face-up, face-down spell traps. 
that sort of thing. It's, it's like Lightning Storm, but for six Samurais, essentially. There's also another Asticism, if you feel the need to it. Uh, that Jury's Blessing is for Exterio. Six Scrolls is there if you <laughs> really want to go for that Shien tech. And lastly, there's Musakani Magatama, which if your opponent would play a card that would destroy stuff, and you have a six Samurai, you can negate that. So... That's today's deck, everybody. I hope you very much enjoyed it. Tomorrow, we are taking a look at Stank Wizards. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a fun one. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, your boy Memphis is signing out. I'll see you guys very soon with more Yu-Gi-Oh! action. Till then, y'all stay safe, stay happy, and weigh the warrior it. Go forth, warriors. Well. Wow.